All right, we're gonna make the first cast for Fluke of 2021. Starting out off with a bucktail. Got a little teaser up top with a little gulp as well. And let's go ahead and work the beach. Water's looking good, feeling warmer. Let's see what the deal is. Set that drag a little bit. So I got this wind to my back. Hopefully you can hear me all right. But we're just gonna go ahead and use that bucktail. Short little jig, slow retrieve. And just kind of bounce that bucktail off the bottom. Uh, the game plan, I don't really know what the game plan is today. I mean, I'm gonna start off trying to catch some fluke. We'll see if we can get some bites here. And if not, I'm gonna switch over to bluefish, possibly stripers. So yeah, this is a one ounce bucktail, a spro. I'm pretty sure it's holding bottom pretty good. That's a hit. There we go. That's the first fish of the season right there. That is the first fish. Ate the bucktail. Oh my gosh, and that's a keeper too. Yep, mouth closed. Oh my gosh, guys, that's a keeper. Well, you know what? That's, this is crazy. I can't believe I'm doing this. That is a keeper fluke on the new Vanford. But he's the first one of the year, and for good luck, I always let him go. So I'm gonna let this keeper go. Nice 18 inch fluke. All right, buddy. I got another one on over here. Feels smaller. Not a fluke. It's a pretty interesting fish. A little bit more like rounded, but that's a sundial. It's cool to see that those are around. I don't think there's any size limit on them, but he's pretty small anyway. So we're gonna let a uh, little sundial go. All right, so I'm fluke fishing, it's kind of slow. I see a blitz going on over there. I'm actually gonna go get my other gear and try to catch some bluefish now. So let's see if we can get on that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's fish out there. There's fish out there. For sure there's fish out there. All right. Got him. Got him. Knew he was out there. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Oh yeah, whatever that is. That's good. Can't tell with the ray. What is that? It's heavy. Is that shark? It's putting up a big fight. Oh my god, it's a huge blue fish. It's a jumbo blue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god, this is my PB bluefish. Oh my gosh. PB. <laughs> oh! 
Oh my gosh. Oh my God, it's huge. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. Thirty-one. Nice. Monster. Monster. Way to go. Thank you, thank we, you. What, first cast? First cast. <laughs> Can't beat that. No. Alright, thank you so much. That is by far the biggest bluefish I've ever caught. 31 inch monster gator blue. <laughs> We're gonna let him go. Oh my gosh, did you see that blue fish? Freaking tank. Got him on the new rod, the Tsunami Airwave. Um, oh my gosh, I'm a mess right now. Unreal, let's take another cast out there. Unreal. When I hooked him, I didn't know he was as big as he was. Then he just took off. So there has got to be a school of big fish over there. I mean, you can't make this up. I saw those fish splashing out. I walked back to get the other rod. Saw one blow up and just made one cast and got that fish. Oh, there we go. Right at the shore. There we go. That's a good size to keep. Yep. Perfect size to keep. Oh my gosh. These bluefish got me running down the beach. They're on a big school and these are big blues. Not the small ones from the other day. I'm trying to walk over to them right now. We'll see. So that big school of bluefish was only in for a second, just out of casting range, next thing you know they're gone. So I ended off the day with a little bit more fluke fishing, nothing crazy, just a few more shorts, and I took that bluefish back to the kitchen to fillet it up for this catch and cook. All right guys, we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna start cooking up that bluefish. I'm gonna make pan seared bluefish over a nice caponata. I'm really excited for this recipe. Nice and healthy, good to try, very easy recipe, and uh, I hope you like it. All right, so that's everything for the caponata. Got the eggplant, peppers, celery, onion, olives, capers right here, some rough chopped oregano, and the concasse tomato. We're just gonna put some olive oil in a pan, and we're gonna put the onions, peppers, and celery in. 
Put in salt. So I'm just gonna let this all sweat out. Once it's all sweat down nicely, I'm gonna take it out and then sear the eggplant. So the eggplant's looking good. Now the tomatoes are gonna go in. Maybe that's just a little too much tomato, but if you like tomato like me, we're just gonna throw it in there, let it all sweat out. Now we're gonna go back in with the rest of the stuff. Give that a nice mix, it's smelling great. Good old tomato taste. Got that tomato paste in there, and we're gonna put some wine. Let that all cook down. Nice handful of capers. A splash of red wine vinegar. It's gonna give it a nice tang. And we're just gonna let that cook down. So as you can see, the wine evaporated. And that copping on is good. Just season it up, make sure it tastes seasoned, and it's just delicious. Well, and don't forget to add that oregano at the end. This is going to be interesting to see how fresh bluefish tastes. No seasoning, really. I mean, no added seasoning other than salt and pepper. Got this pan nice and hot. Just a little bit of oil in there. All right, so that's it guys. Bluefish, eggplant caponata, and just some greens dressed with uh, just a little balsamic vinegar, a little crostini. Mm. The bluefish is actually really good. Yeah, yep. Mm. Very good. Bluefish mm. meat. You would never know. Beautifully, it looks white. It looks no no fishy taste. Mm. It's really good with the caponata. Yeah, it's really good. It's a good bite. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. This is a true test because we fried it last time in a sandwich. I've never had it just plain salt and pepper, and it's still just as good. Mm-hmm. You can even make a little. I know that's what I want to do. Caponata. A little bit of caponata. Bluefish. Some greens. Crostini. Bluefish crostini. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. It's really good. All together. Yeah. Wow. We'll be right back. We're going to finish this one up. I got to say, we got to try bluefish simple. Nothing really much done to it, and it was really good. Really good. I don't know what people are saying. They don't like bluefish. Give it a shot. Make sure you bleed it out right, and, you know, you'll have a clean plate just like this. So with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, the catch and cook, the bluefish. If you liked it all, please hit that subscribe button. Helps us out a lot. And uh, we're looking forward to get out there again. So thank you for watching and see you next time on The Line Cook.